Let's take a look at our inkjet laser printing files. If you have an Oki Data laser printer uh, with say a white toner and you want to make your own transfers, we have an actual file set up for that. All you have to do is go to the website and you can search anything you want to search. Oh, let's do a kid's design. So I'm going to click on that. And you can get all kinds of kids' designs that will pop up in all the categories. You'll get stock art and embroidery stuff. But for this particular instance, well, all we're interested in is this one here, the inkjet laser printing files. So if you click on that one, um, these are our kids' designs for that decorating technique. Right? So what I'm going to do is just scroll through here and find something that you want to do. Uh, I'm just going to click on this little girl here, this little doll, rag doll. It says hug me. What we're going to do here is you can come in here and click on the inkjet laser printing file. We want to make sure we choose that particular one. You know, this is our file for our digital printing and then print cutting. We have a bleed and we put a cut line on there. Um, screen printing separations are done. We have a regular black line vector clip art piece. We have a vinyl cutting file and so in a vinyl cutting basic, right? So what we're looking for is the inkjet laser printing file. So if you notice, we can't download this file right now because I'm not logged in. So we're going to go ahead and click on the login button here. And if you're new to the site or you just got a, maybe you got a free code from Transfer Paper Experts, just go ahead and click on register to sign up and create an account. If you're an existing customer, you can save your information if you want to, that way you don't have to think about it and just come in and log in. All right, so what I want to do now is go to the inkjet laser printing file. Now, the reason you want to go here is because when we created these files, we made sure that there is no soft edges and very super small detail things that the laser printer toner will not be able to transfer onto the shirt. All these files will have a transparent background and it will be a hard edged image. So we make adjustments to the artwork so it prints properly with our laser transfers. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out of this guy here. So what we can do is we can just go ahead and download it once we're set up. Or if you want to, we can actually customize it. So let's go ahead and throw some type on here real quick. We're going to come in here. I'm going to click on this image and make it a little bit smaller in our little window here so we can work on something. And let's just go ahead and uh, cap lock free hugs. Why not? So we can make it a little bit larger. It's your typical online designer scenario, right? We can change an effect. Let's do a classic arc on it here. Um, position it if we want to. We can go ahead and click on a solid color and maybe want to make it yellow to go with the hair and the other colors in there. That looks pretty good. So we can go back to the fonts here and notice I want to click on this and let's go ahead and outline it with uh, with a color. So I line it with this purple and we're going to hit the return button. That's going to get us back to here. So if we we can see the outline here as we move this little slider, right? We can go ahead and decide how thick we want it. That looks pretty good, but I don't know if I like that font. It's a little stiff for uh, this particular image. Let's go ahead and click on the new font. That's cute. All right, we'll go with that one. So when I click off of it, here's our full image. It's about nine and a quarter wide by 11 and a half inches tall, a little bit larger. So if I click on the download button, it says, okay, do you want to download it as a PDF or as a PNG? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this as a PNG. I'm going to go ahead and click on the PNG here, and we're going to take it into Illustrator, and we'll work with it.